Hi, my name is Bob Rukim, and I'm going to tell you about our study which looks at erectile dysfunction being an independent predictor of sleep apnea in a large population of middle-aged men. Um, essentially, we looked at uh, first responders to the World Trade Center site, where all of our patients were being evaluated. Um, we looked at 870 consecutive enrolled men, uh, and after adjusting for all comorbidities, what we found is that uh, sleep apnea was independently associated with uh, erectile dysfunction uh, in the uh, patient population. Those patients who did have a history of erectile dysfunction were more than twice as likely to have to be at high risk for sleep apnea as defined by the Berlin questionnaire. Uh, in addition, the uh, rate of prevalence of being at high risk for sleep apnea uh, progressed from 60% in those who were normal erectile function up to 88% in those who had abnormal erectile, uh, who had the most severe erectile dysfunction. Um, that was a linear relationship actually, uh, which was also statistically significant. So, you know, what we find is those patients who do have erectile dysfunction are more than twice as likely to be at high risk for sleep apnea um, and that as their erectile function worsens, their, um, the prevalence of being at high risk for sleep apnea uh, increases. Uh, so the, you know, a patient who does present with erectile dysfunction should be screened at least for uh, sleep apnea, especially with the use of questionnaires when presenting to the, patient, uh, to the physician's office.